YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Central Galaxy here bringing you a brand new video and today it's gonna be a special one. Um, we now have another unboxing video. I went ahead and I bought something and this is basically the taking the leap of faith and the leap of hope of that that this all this money that will be going into all these products will one day pay off and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So in case you guys don't know, right now what I'm rocking with as my setup, I'll go ahead and show you. Right now I'm at my Padre's house, and um, in case you didn't know, this is a 32 inch uh, Insignia. Now I think it's a 1080p, um, but what I do is I got my 15 inch uh, mid 2015 um, MacBook Pro Retina display, and then I just have an HDMI hook to my uh, Elgato HD60 and then this HDMI runs into here. Um, I'll go ahead and plug everything in so you guys get an idea of what the picture quality looks like on the um, on this giant TV. Let's go ahead and open up the Mac. Throw on the magnetic charging. Um, the nice thing about this is I can always depend on battery life because it's amazing. So, password real quick. You guys don't want to see that. Alright, so there is the 4K with Retina display. Looks very, very nice. Um, a lot better in person. Right now, this is in recording in 1080p. So, try to get a better shot there. But as we moved over here, a much bigger screen right it's like super huge and it's nice but it's it's too big for me you know what I mean I like the game and I like to have stuff over here and it's just it's too big for me and I don't like it taking up all this desk space um, in case you guys are wondering what this is I know I'm getting off track but this is a uh, extended course air gaming mouse pad I will go ahead and link it down in the description along with the computer this TV, I don't think I'll be able to link those because those probably don't exist anymore, but these are amazing. Um, in case you don't know what these are, these are the Arctic Lansing um, computer speakers. And comes with a subwoofer down there, and it just, they're just amazing. But this is the Insignia 32-inch. And if I can manage to find a way to... Um, let's see... 1080p 60 hertz so it's a 1080p um, 60 hertz although it doesn't look like 1080p uh, at 32 now the reason why is because it's at a refresh rate of 60 hertz when you have a computer or a TV like this um, you're gonna want something like 120 hertz that way you really get the uh, refresh rate and it's fast um, but I'm a big fan of uh, smaller TVs uh, pretty much considered a monitor and um, that's what I pretty much bought today. So I went out to Best Buy and I actually found a really good deal on a 24 inch Vizio TV. It's actually a smart TV. I'm pretty stoked about it. I'm super excited to open it up, set it up and see what it looks like. I will obviously be moving this guy cause he will be in the way. Um, what I'll probably do is one day eventually get him mounted up here or I'll just, um, uh, no, yeah, I'll probably just leave it up mounted right there. But this, guys, oh, this is the Vizio 24. Sorry about this stuff. That, that was just there. And it, the nice thing is this is actually a smart TV. So it comes with Xumo, YouTube, Vudu, iHeartRadio, Hulu, Pandora, and Netflix. Um, now, this will actually be going to my mom's, and the 24-inch Spectre that I have over there will be going here, just because I live at my mom's more. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and set you guys down, and um, go ahead and get into the unboxing. But before I do, let's go ahead and just check out the box. So, Vizio 24-inch, easy-to-use smart TV, built-in Wi-Fi, Edge, 
lit LED backlit. Um, so it is an LED TV. I believe that one is not LED. That's why it looks weird. So this is an LED. Um, and then 1080p full HD. And then what I call BS, but whatever. Top of the box. Side. Put on over to the back, pretty much the same thing. Some numbers over there. Same thing on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys down. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into opening the box. All right guys, so hoping that you guys can see this fairly decently. Um, if you can, I apologize. I'll do a little bit of a raise up so you guys can see it. But I got my handy dandy key that I'm gonna be using to unbox this because I do not have a knife yet. I do um, and would like to attempt to um, try to get a knife from Elemental Knives. I'll go ahead and link down their uh, website down below. Go ahead and check them out. They do a bunch of CSGO uh, type related knives. So, anyways, let's go ahead and cut to the box here. So what we got here first on top is our remote, which actually looks super nice. Um, we're going to get it out the package here. And it's in package inside of a package, but a very nice remote. Um, I'm impressed. Vizio, good job. So like I was saying, very nice remote. If I could get it closer here, and show you guys this is the um, quick to launch app buttons so your uh, your Xumo Netflix and iHeartRadio all your DVD options more will pad um, and it comes with the uh, uh, full HD so you have like a couple broadband channels if you want to watch that but nothing cool go ahead and get rid of this plastic be silent for this We all love that sound. A nice metallic finish. Gloss, maybe. Um, it definitely doesn't feel cheap. Um, feels very nice. Bop, whole back slides off. And two AAA batteries. So hopefully they included that um, with the TV. So that is the remote. Let's go ahead and see what else is included in the box. It looks like the TV itself is here. It Maybe a pain to get out. We have our two stands. So this is one stand. It's going to sit like that, and then the other stand will sit on the other side. So we'll go ahead and set these guys to the side first. Let's see what else. We have. Always gotta give it a nice shake. Maybe not. Here is the power cord, so no necessary brick, just one whole strip, which is actually very nice. Thank you, Vizio, for doing that for me, making my life easier. Anything else in here? No? Feel some extra stuff. Um, We're getting there, guys. All right, scratch that. We're just gonna slide this baby on out.
All right. So we got some styrofoam covering and a nice plastic wrap here. It's covered. Now, obviously, this looks super small, but it's meant to look super small. It's a 24 inch uh, TV slash monitor, if you say so. Um, we'll go ahead and um, remove the plastic here and see what is under here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. It looks amazing. It honestly looks better than my um, my uh, Spectre TV that I have. And this was actually cheaper. So, very, very nice. We'll go ahead and give you a nice close up there. Don't mind the energy guide there. Um, very nice black finish. The side, fairly, fairly thin for a 24 inch. Um, but obviously you can see um, what may be your side speakers or your speakers at the back here. So we have your power port, one HDMI. Um, we're not gonna sweat that because um, we do have an HDMI splitter. I hope you guys can see this as well. Um, all your VGA ports. Um, if you do have a uh, monitor um, and have one of the, these ports, which is the um, RGB PC type deal, um, you can do that. This is meant for your smart TV feature and a USB uh, if you want to like put stuff on the TV as well. And that's pretty much the back. Flip it over to the front. We have some plastic around here to take off. But before we do that, we are going to go ahead and set this guy to the side and see if there's anything else that Cubs included or if that was it. All right, so here what else is in the bag. It looks like they included their own type of AAA batteries, which is nice, and a couple of screws for installation. All right, set that to the side. Well, my main question is, did they, or were they, nice enough to give us an HDMI cable? Most likely not. I did not hurt. Let's try. So it looks like they did not. But that's all right. So we're gonna go ahead and move the box to the side. We're going to go ahead and kind of move everything on the trash away. We don't want all this stuff in the way. Um, keep only what's necessary. And we're going to go ahead and actually set it up on the ground here. So, a little bit of couple speckles on there. I guess it's a little dirty in the air, you know. Good old sticker. Peel that guy right off and he's gonna peel the rest of this it seems. Oh, snap right off. And the nice thing is I like the position of where the Vizio logo is at, which is at the bottom right. And it looks beautiful. Uh, I honestly think this looks better, way better than my Spectre, so. We all love that sound. Let's see. Top. Now just sides. Obviously these are going to be fingerprint magnets, but that's all right. I think we may have actually got this side. Nope. I still see it. There's that part and then, okay, yeah, that's it. 
Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and set this little guy up against there. Now I may or may not actually be getting rid of that 32 inch TV over there. So we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and open up this little baggie. That comes with the installation guide. Okay, hope you guys can see that. The screws that we're gonna need. Obviously the AAA batteries that we're gonna need as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and set those guys to the side. First thing we want to do is just go ahead and get the remote control out of the way. So just open up these batteries. Normally sealed very well. here for the remote. Now we just need to take the clamps that they gave us that will hold the TV and set them up. This one looks like it's going to be, um, or it may not matter actually, so we'll find out here. I'll keep the video running just so you guys can enjoy the sound or whatnot or if you just wanted to see the step-by-step -step installation here so you're definitely welcome to skip to the end where I do have this all set up um, but in the meantime probably just be chilling so I think this one's for the left this one's for the right just because of these little clamps on the side here so let's go ahead and figure this out I'm already creating fingerprints I'm sure so let's see Oh wow, we have TV power buttons right here too. Nice. So I believe it's actually on the bottom. Yep, it's on the bottom. So, slide through again. And you do need a screwdriver. Um, so, I may be right back. I know I have one somewhere. Um, I'm sure I'll find it. Just give me one second, guys. Stay right there. Let me see if I can... Alright, guys. We found the right screw that we wanted. Let's go ahead and... Get this nice and tight, but don't strip. Other side real quick. Once again, this is a small little monitor here that we got, but I will definitely be enjoying this a lot more than my massive 32 inch that I have in right now. Now it's getting a little magnetic here and creating some. to make sure that it is secure, it's nice and tight. As you can tell, it's kind of wiggling around right here. So it's I guess I meant to wiggle on under a little bit, that's okay. So let's go ahead and stand up. Bam. 
it looks very very nice I'm impressed grab the camera here show you guys the Vizio monitor slash 24 inch TV looks very very nice out of focus a little bit there and then you got the Vizio logo so let's go ahead and move this massive TV just so you guys can get a um, size comparison and difference here let me put in my password real quick oh, one password awesome 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 so it looks kind of weird right now you kind of focus into those lighting points the wall lines go away but that is the 32 inch and I'll be back when I have the 24 inch set up <laughs> and all right guys so if you guys want a size comparison that's the big old 32 right there and over here we've got the 24 the nice perfect size 24 this is like a 15 so this is the perfect size oh my gosh it looks beautiful in person looks pretty nice on camera um, I had the power set up I have the remote and in case you guys were wondering the difference is between the insignia remote and the Vizio this is the insignia not a smart TV disclaimer Vizio smart TV very nice remote so little blue button comes on and the Vizio sign choose your mode Let's see if we can get in on that choose your mode select store demo for in-store display select home use for in-home use Go ahead and use the home use. We're going to go with English. We are in USA. Uh, we are Central Time. And now it is searching for the networks. We have the Central 2.0. And if we roam around here, or we go back. Alright, well that's what it's looking like it's going to give us is just the 2.0, which is fine. Let me go ahead and enter in my password and I will be right back. And alrighty guys, we got through the internet process. Now I do accept to the terms of service. Register your TV. So I'm going to go ahead and get through this and then I will be right back. And alright guys, so I went ahead and turned off the lights, finished this process. So now we are in the menu. Um, we want to go ahead and go to, uh, let's just try, let's get out the menu real quick and try Netflix. Awesome. So Netflix works just like that. Now we can go ahead and sign in. Go ahead and skip this part for you guys so you guys do not see my information. And alright, so we managed to get the Netflix working. And it works just like as if I was on their website, which is really nice. Go ahead and let it load. Awesome. Super, super cool. Uh, we will play around with the... Uh, menu settings here so for like the picture Ooh, you guys didn't hear that
go and work with the game. So let's go ahead and test out like the audio on just like, I don't know, let's watch like some random family guy. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. Mom, Dad, I found cigarettes in Greg's jacket. Greg, were you smoking cigarettes? No, Dad. Well, he's lying. There's no doubt about that. Greg, I'm afraid your punishment will be four hours in the snake pit. Maybe that'll give you some time to think about what you've done. Oh, man. That'll teach you. And Jan, I'm afraid you earned a day in the chamber of fire. You folks want some pancakes? No, thank you. See, that's the worst we got is uh, Jemima's witnesses. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. But we're in those good old-fashioned values. I wish we used to rewind. Lucky is a family guy. Lucky is a family guy. There we go. Please don't copyright me. I do not want a copyright strike. I'm just testing this out for the video. And it looks great. It does. Works perfect. My lips are too thin. Can I put Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now if I press the Vizio button, I have all of these options here. And I will play around with this. I'll fix it all up. Nope, oh, I pressed something. And back to Netflix. Uh, if we go to. What do we want to go to? That's picture mode. That's a panoramic mode. Oh, here we are. Input. So VIA TV. Um, HDMI comp or the RGB mode and then obviously we have 1080p so we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, HDMI setup hooked up and we will be right back all right so now if we just go to HDMI Oh, we need to plug it in, of course. Lol. Let's go ahead and plug this stuff in. I'm an idiot. I'm a goofy goober. Let's go ahead and plug in the HDMI and... Awesome. So right now, obviously, the little bezels are a little bit messed up here. But if we click over here and we go to the picture mode doesn't look all that great there we go that's what we want game and then if we go to system preferences displays here under scan all the way down 60 Hertz obviously Bam! A lot more nicer view here, uh, in my opinion. It just it looks a lot better. It looks like an actual monitor. I can't wait to complete the whole setup and have the Xbox One S and the Astros and everything. I'm super excited to share these videos with you guys. But as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and end it here and um, make it the end of video so yeah that is the 24 inch vizio unboxing and setup if you guys enjoyed do me a favor and hit that like button any questions comments concerns you always drop that down in the comment section below and if you were feeling spunky you can always hit that subscribe button and as always it was your boy central galaxy and i will catch you guys on the next one later guys peace